Do you know the name Maurizio Cavallo? He is a man from Italy who has claimed repeated abductions by aliens from the planet Clarion. The first alien encounter was in 1981. At that time, being a professor, he was returning home, as suddenly several luminous vortices formed around him. Then the man was simply pulled into the apparatus above him. It was quite dark on board, with light coming only from various panels and holographic images. Maurizio looked around the room with astonishment, and was about to touch a touch panel when an unfamiliar voice in an unknown language called out to him. Turning around, Cavallo saw three effeminate beings. Their facial features were slightly different from human, large almond-shaped eyes, a neat almost absent nose, and a small mouth. Their skin color was a bluish lilac. The bodies appeared to be dressed in light-colored suits. The man heard a few more phrases, but couldn't make them out. The voices were distorted and duplicated, making Morizio think they were bio-robots. He replied that he did not understand the alien speech. Then one of them approached the hologram, consisting of a huge number of symbols, and gestured to the Italian. Then thanks to a series of gestures Cavallo realized that he had to repeat the phrase. Non ti capisco. The holographic image picked up the voice and assembled a few short words from the unfamiliar symbols. Apparently it was a device for translating a language into an understandable one between members of different civilizations. Now the image showed Italian symbols when the alien spoke, and Maurizio was able to communicate with the strangers. It turned out that there had been a war on the planet Clarion, which for some reason was listed among the planets of the solar system. Almost all the inhabitants had been wiped out, but thousands of ships had managed to fly off in different directions to find a new home. Earth was suitable for many parameters, but the Clarionians were scared off by the aggression with which mankind treats each other. The Italian replied that most Earthlings were kind and cheerful. The aliens pulled a small object from a hatch in the wall, turned it on, and there appeared pictures of burning cities, hundreds and even thousands of changing frames, divided the screen into many separate cells. This is your civilization. You have been waging wars for over 25,000 years. Can you be considered good? Maurizio didn't know what to answer him. According to the Italian, he dropped a tear. After that, he was brought back to Earth. The dialogue was completed, but there remained some reticence. Then the man became fascinated by the problematics of UFOs, and searched for information in various sources about the planet Clarion. It turned out that this is a hypothetical planet located behind the Sun and orbiting the Earth at the same speed as our planet. Because of this, we can't see it, it's covered by the solar disk all the time. We cannot say whether it was about this planet or not, but the Italian did not find other celestial bodies with this name in the literature. But in the next 10 years he found six more people in different parts of the world who described the event in detail. Clarionists visited our planet repeatedly. And in 2005 they visited Maurizio Cavallo again. The Italian by that time had already left the professorship and plunged into the study of ufology and various contacts between people and other civilizations. This time, according to the researcher, they came straight to his home. From there, the man was taken to the ship. It was already a different machine, though the Clarionians themselves looked very much like those who had made contact with humans for the first time. You have, after all, chosen the path of destruction. We are very sorry for your civilization. We have settled in the constellation of Centaurus. Right now the colony numbers just over 20,000, would you like us to show you our home? The Italian replied in the affirmative. Among the greenish mountains, he was shown a large structure. It consisted of hundreds of alien ships that formed a sort of dome. Inside was a small lake of lilac water, with some sort of flying lanterns used instead of sunlight. There was no vegetation anywhere, noticing this, the man asked how the creatures breathed and what they ate. To this the aliens held out a small square object to Morizio. It smelled of nothing, and its consistency was very similar to sandstone. The Clarionians ate similar cubes. The Italian put it on his tongue and it instantly melted. Not understanding anything, the man asked what it was. It turned out that the alien technology allowed them to produce food and water in the form of such things. One was enough for several days. Cavallo would later write about this miraculous cube that he didn't want to eat or drink for two weeks after meeting the aliens. As for air, the creatures don't need it in the sense that humans do. While the aliens wear suits, the necessary mixture of gases for breathing comes through the skin, so the Clarionians can live even in an oxygen-free environment. The last time the Italian met with the already familiar creatures in 2011. Then Morizio was searched for even with the police, as he disappeared for a week and a half. When he returned, he reported that he visited his alien friends. However, there was no tangible proof of this.
Orzio Cavallo is considered by many to be a falsifier. But, on the other hand, there are at least a dozen and a half citizens of other countries, who also as Morizio contacted extraterrestrial beings from the planet Clarion. It's hard to comment on anything. In my opinion, this story is interesting at least because it gives hope that we are not alone in the universe. Whether it is true or fiction is a matter of faith.